motivation that exists as people want to work, whether it's moving into syndication or running their own business or sort of pursuing independence um, within their career. The first level of motivation is I need pain to stop. I'm motivated by the fact that I hate my boss. I don't like my commute. My job is a den den. I have financial problems, right? There's pain in my life that motivates me to move towards the kind of decisions and the kind of outcomes that we've been able to create in real estate. But it's a short-lived motivation. It's a short-lived motivation. And I feel like that wanes very quickly because you get a new job, you get a new boss, you get a raise, right? Those things can change um, and the pain is ended and that motivation to change your life has, has depleted quickly. I think the second level of motivation is the motivation to have things in your life, right? Have the freedom, have the time, have the, the cabin on the lake, right? Um, be able to sort of quit your job and have the sort of life and things or intentionality around how you want to structure your time. Right. And that that's a really powerful tool. And most people sort of sit in the middle of that bell curve with those kinds of like, this is the vision I have for my life. And that drives the motivation. Uh, but that wanes too. Right. That is, uh, I think people can learn to live to compromise on that. But the, 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 the deepest and most powerful level of motivation that I have found related to uh, people being successful in this industry is when they have this third level of motivation. It's once I have the pain stopped in my life, once I have acquired the lifestyle and things that I want to have, the last vision for people have is. Here's how I want to now impact the world because of who I am and the freedom that this has given me, right? Now, let me give me an example of that, right? People can hate their job. People can, you buy the Porsche or whatever you want to get, right? The cabin on the lake. And the third level I've heard some people talk about is I want to have more foster kids in my house, right? I want to be able to contribute to this kind of way, not volunteering, right? We're not, we're not talking about like volunteering, right? We're talking about how do you meaningfully impact the trajectory of other people's lives in ways that is important and valuable and influential? And how do you change the world? What, is, what are the deep needs that the world has that I'm really good at? And that third level of motivation, that third level of vision, I think is the deepest well. And so if people can identify, you often hear about um, what's your why? And I think there's three levels of whys, right? And my, my goal with people is to say, I wanna, I wanna knock off the first two and I wanna talk about the third because that third is the deepest pool uh, the biggest reservoir of motivation that will get you through and help you be successful. So that's, those are like my three levels of whys that I spend time talking with people about to really try to tease out what it is that they are shooting towards besides, you know, stuff, right? That's, that's kind of the goal. Would you say the average person that you coach through, they can tell you with extreme clarity what they don't want, but really when it comes to what they do want, there may be a little bit more ambiguity or, or unclarity for those people. Oh, hundred percent. I mean, absolutely. Um, it, it's not necessarily that you know what your level three why is. You know that it has to exist, right? And that's a really big point. If if you're if you have deep pain in your life, like you hate your job, your boss is terrible. You, there's no way that you can sort of see through all the way to the third why of your life, right? It's it's, it's impossible. It's 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 sort of the hierarchy of needs, right? You can't get to self actualization if you're hungry. Right. It's that same thing. If you have this sort of front, whatever is at the front here. Now, the idea that it says, look, I, I am somehow driven in life by the fact that I want to get to my third level of why the knowledge that it exists is part of the motivation. Right. I am driven by principles and values that says I don't know what I want to do and I don't know how it can impact the world. But I have I see the potential for what I want to do. And so I, I think it's, it's not that you know what you want to do at the end. It's that you know that it exists within you and in terms of your personality and your character. And, and that was perfect. That was an example for me. Um, I remember at, there was a point in time where I had a lot of sort of stress and pain and I hated my job, right? And But I knew that somewhere out there it existed. And sometimes you can't answer the third why until your second why is done, right? Until you have the time to think carefully and have the freedom and the opportunity to say, what drives me? Um, I remember after I left my corporate job, I spent some time just doing real estate, uh, but I'm a real estate investor. I don't have a job in real estate. It's not a full-time job. I'm an investor at a syndicator of real estate. So the opportunity for me, this is what is, the, what is the way that I feel like I can meaningfully impact the world was I went back to my university, my alma mater that I graduated from, uh, and I teach now. I was, a, I was a finance major at Bethel University in St. Paul. Uh, and about four years ago, I went back and I'm a full-time professor of finance at Bethel University. I, I promise you, I'm not there for the money, right? Um, but <laughs> as I look back on my life, I saw that there were people who encouraged and invested uh, and trained me up to be successful today. And that's the goal that I want to bring back to my university is here's how I want to be able to impact the world. I want to encourage uh, and educate and train up and provide a vision for uh, under university, uh, the, the Bethel University undergraduate business students 
to go impact the world, right? I want to give them the same vision that they can someday move themselves towards uh, that level of, of impact in the world. Yeah, that's so awesome. I mean, I think this is, this is incredible. Like I'm blown away by this kind of third level of why. Like, so what, what I'll say is we, whenever I talk to people about like, what is your why, whenever that question comes up, people tend to be like, well, I want to help people, you know? And what I'm hearing is like, maybe that first and second why isn't clear yet, you know, but they, they know the third why is out there. How do you right. get there? What does that look like? Man, this is super powerful. So Drew, I got to ask like when in your class, are you a little bit real estate uh, leaning in the finance teaching? <laughs> Always. Absolutely. 